Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope everyone's doing well and safe. So today it's a quick lab before lab just wanted to introduce to a good service Amazon translate for translating, you know, the data. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope everyone's doing well and safe. I just wanted to do a quick lab on Amazon translate. Recently, I had one of my client where I Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope everyone's doing well and safe. I just want to do a quick lab on Amazon Translate, one of a good service that anybody can use. And this helps to, you know, translate the user generated content or analyze the online conversation. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope everyone's doing well and safe. I just wanted to do a quick lab on Amazon Translate. Again, I'm not an expert to Amazon Translate, but I had an interaction with one of my customer where I suggested Amazon Translate to use and it worked out well. So I just wanted to put up a video on this. It's a good service from Amazon, which translate the user generated content into a different languages. So for example, if you want to convert from one language to another language, Amazon Translate is a service. It also analyzes the online conversation in different languages, plus create a cross-lingual communication between the users. It's a very straightforward communication. It's a straightforward configuration as well. So Amazon Translate is a neural machine language translation service that delivers fast, high quality, affordable, and customizable language translation. So as you can see, you can upload the data with an S3 bucket and translate service will help us to translate with the help of machine learning logic that what we have written in the backend as part of the Amazon service. It will do the document translation, active custom translation, then you can do a custom technology integration as well, formality configuration, automatic source, language detection as well and you can get the output in amazon s3 2 the text in utf 8 format okay again as i said i'm not an expert to translate but i had a chance to work on amazon translate with one of my customer and it worked well i haven't done much research uh, because i'm not from the development background i just sit in a small in a set of Python function to translate from one language to another language, you can do it same by same from the learning perspective. Now, this is a very simple scenario where we have two buckets input and output. We will be uploading one of our text file in the input bucket and with the help of Lambda function, it will translate, it will send the data to translate and translate will do the translation, whatever we have written in the Lambda function like English to Hindi or English to German or whatever the language to language variation is there and the output will go to the output bucket. So that's the scenario and I hope the concept is quite clear with Amazon Translate. So let me jump to my AWS management console. I have created two bucket, infra trans bucket and out trans bucket. So both the buckets are empty. I believe one bucket is full. Yeah, this bucket is full. So let me delete this. Permanently delete so both buckets are empty now now in order to do the configuration what we have to do so first requirement is to have the two buckets then lambda function so let me show you the lambda function it's a straightforward function we are importing json and boto3 for the interaction then we are creating a c client and translate client okay uh, the service name is s3 and service name is translate we are defining translate text, text and the language code. So again, uh, the target language code can be the one which you are defining, which language you want to convert. Source we have kept as auto and the res in the return, we are getting a result of translated text. We are defining the Lambda handler over here. As you can see, file name, event records, then the object and key. We are calling the bucket name. Output, output bucket name is out trans bucket fine and we are printing all the values over here result is s3 client get object key bucket is equal to bucket name and key file name the and these are the format utf minus eight 
as per the documentation and the translated text I'm converting into my language which is Hindi and uh, we'll be uploading a file an English formatted file I'll show you what's the text the text is quite simple this is my country and I, I'm proud of it that's the text that I'm going to upload to my S3 bucket and sending that uh, to the print once it is done I'll share this lambda function again it's not 100% written by me it's already available on the internet so I just modified few things and I'm using it now okay so for that one more thing because to run lambda function we need to create an IAM role that consists of, consists of few things one is the translate access I have given full access uploading downloading which is for Amazon S3 and CloudWatch just to see the data over there okay so let's go to lambda function and start configuring our environment I'll give this name as translate python 3.9 Change the permission to the one which we have, translate and click create. Okay, so the trigger should happen when somebody upload the data or object specific to that input trans bucket. So add trigger, source is S3 and that's the input bucket, all events, acknowledge, add. So whenever anybody upload object to S3 bucket in form of file or you know the content, the translate function will get triggered. The next part that what we have to do is go to the code section and we'll replace the code with our code. Copy, paste and deploy. So this part is done. Let me go to CloudWatch, Lambda, log group and now let's upload the file click upload add test file upload so it should trigger the lambda function okay let's go to cloudwatch just to check whether the log is coming up or not into the translate section click over here so we have the translation done over here as you can see sc output test.txt this was the input line this is my country and i'm proud of it this is the hindi translation of that particular language ye mera desh hai and mujhe is par garv hai done that's the hindi translation okay so let's go back to our output bucket here we have that file download and as you can see this is the language the Hindi language translation is there so that was it for this particular video in terms of the translation and I hope this clears a lot what exactly translate is all about how you can you know like write a function and it can be Python function or it can be any other function that you are comfortable with if you are able to write that then yes translate is a service for you for the conversation of uh, into a different languages just play it around if you're facing any issue please out a comment in comment section and I'll be there to help you have a nice day bye bye